Welcome to History's Echoes, where today we unravel the extraordinary tale of the Navajo Code Talkers, whose secret language shaped the outcome of the Second World War. Hit subscribe, and let's decode the legacy of these silent warriors together in today's deep dive. Chapter 1. Echoes of War In the early 1940s, the globe was ensnared in the throes of World War II, a conflict that sprawled across continents, drawing nations into its shadow. As the cacophony of warfare thundered across the Pacific, American forces grappled with a pivotal challenge, safeguarding military communication. Cryptographers toiled to outpace enemy codebreakers, who menaced the Allies with their ability to intercept and decipher coded messages. In this precarious theater of war, where the veil of secrecy could mean the difference between victory and defeat, an unexpected salvation emerged. From the heart of the Navajo Nation arose a code so intricate it confounded the enemy, transforming the indigenous language into an unbreakable cipher that would become one of the most formidable weapons of World War II. Chapter 2. The Language of the Dine. Beneath the sprawling expanse of the southwestern sky, the Navajo Nation preserved a linguistic treasure, a language sculpted by the canyons and plateaus of the American landscape. The Navajo language, known as Dinimbizad, was an oral symphony of complex sounds and structures, a tongue untouched by the Roman alphabet's influence. With its intricate array of tones, nuances, and dialects, Dean Bizad was an enigma to the uninitiated, a cipher by its very nature. It was within this rich linguistic tapestry that the U.S. military saw an opportunity, an uncharted linguistic labyrinth that could shield their communications from the enemy's prying ears. The language of the Dine held the key poised to become a wartime cryptograph of immeasurable value. Chapter 3. Assembling the Code Talkers The call was cast across the mesas and into the heartlands of the Navajo people, seeking warriors of words to step forth. It was a unique recruitment, not for brute strength or sharpshooting skills, but for mastery of the sacred Dine tongue. Twenty-nine Navajo men heeded the call, stepping into the unfamiliar barracks of war, their mission shrouded in secrecy. In the seclusion of Camp Pendleton, these linguistic soldiers crafted a code from their mother language, a code that would transform words for animals into terms of war, a bear for a tank, a shark for a destroyer. These men bound their voices to the fate of nations, forming an elite cadre, the unheralded architects of encrypted victory. Chapter four, words as weapons. As the tides of war surged, the Navajo Code Talkers stood poised with their arsenal of words, a linguistic fortification impenetrable to enemy forces. In whispered tones over transoceanic cables and crackling radio waves, they wove a tapestry of sound that was as baffling to the Axis cryptanalysts as a tempest's roar. Turtle signified tanks rolling through the muck, while buzzards were bombers casting shadows over battle-scarred landscapes. Each transmission was a volley of verbal subterfuge, a dance of dialect that danced just beyond the enemy's comprehension. Their words, swift and sure, became bullets and blades, carrying the weight of battles and the hopes of the Allied command. The Code Talkers' voices, once restrained by history, now rang out, a clarion call of resilience and cunning in the chaos of conflict. Chapter 5. The Unbreakable Code In the crucible of war, the Code Talkers' lexicon evolved, burgeoning from 211 terms to over 400, a veritable dictionary of deception. Each new word was a strand in a web of obfuscation, ensnaring the enemy in its complexity. Their voices carried across the ether, unfurling in rapid staccato bursts over the din of warfare. At Iwo Jima, their linguistic agility proved paramount, their messages threading through the smoke of artillery with an elegance that belied their lethal intent. No error marred their transmissions. Their code remained an enigma, a riddle wrapped in the mystery of the dying speech. These linguistic sentinels, armed with nothing but their heritage, orchestrated the symphony of strategy that would orchestrate the downfall of the Axis stronghold. Chapter 6. Silent Warriors Amidst the clamor of war, the Code Talker's narrative was not solely one of linguistic triumphs, but also human struggle and strength. From the windswept expanses of the Navajo Reservation, these men bore the mantle of dual legacies, the ancient cadences of their people and the urgent cause of the Allies. Within the barracks and across battlefields, 
they face the biting sting of racial prejudice, their indomitable spirits undimmed. The brotherhood forged in the crucible of conflict was their bulwark, each man a keeper of the other's stories, fears, and hopes. In hushed tones beneath the stars of foreign skies, they shared quiet laughter and whispered in Dean, a soothing balm against the cacophony of war, binding them as warriors, linguists, and guardians of freedom. Chapter 7 Beyond the Battlefield When the guns fell silent and the world exhaled at war's end, the Code Talkers returned to a nation largely unaware of their covert heroics. Their tongues, which had woven a protective veil around allied secrets, were now bound by the same secrecy they served to uphold. It would be decades before the shroud of classification lifted and the narrative of these silent warriors emerged into public consciousness. Living amongst the very people they had defended, the Code Talkers carried their untold stories with stoic grace, their contributions to freedom's cause, a whispered legacy waiting for its day in the sun. Recognition was a slow dawning horizon, but inevitably it crested, casting light on the valor and victory inscribed in their unspoken deeds. Chapter 8. Legacy of the Code As the secret veil of the Code Talker's mission finally lifted, a cascade of overdue honors began to illuminate their legacy. The year 2001 marked a poignant apotheosis as the surviving Navajo Code Talkers were adorned with the Congressional Gold Medal, their valor engraved into national memory. Their once veiled lexicon became a touchstone of cryptographic excellence inspiring modern encryption techniques that guard state secrets and digital lives alike. Schools, streets, and statues now bear witness to their story, a testament to the indomitable power of language as both a cultural bastion and a strategic instrument. The Code Talker's journey from the stark deserts of the Navajo Nation to the annals of American heroism echoes a deeper resonance, a call to remember the silent sentinels who whispered the language of victory. Chapter 9 Preserving the Voices In the twilight of their years, the surviving Code Talkers became custodians of a fading oral tradition, their mission shifting from war to wisdom's preservation. As modernity's tide surged, threatening to erode the dying language, these veterans became beacons in the quest to retain their cultural heritage. Educational programs sprouted, aiming to sow the seeds of the Navajo tongue within younger generations, ensuring that the language that once cloaked nations in secrecy would continue to thrive. The Code Talker's personal accounts, once locked away by oaths of silence, began to unfurl in classrooms and documentaries, invigorating a narrative of resilience. Their legacy, etched into the very sinews of their language, stood as a fortress against oblivion, a rallying cry to safeguard the voices of history. Chapter 10, Echoing Valor. As the chronicles of the Code Talkers unfurl into the annals of history, their saga resonates far beyond the battlegrounds of yesteryear. It speaks to the profound fusion of cultural identity and patriotic service, to the transcendent power of an unwritten language that once shaped the course of global events. In classrooms and ceremonies, their story is retold, stirring the souls of new generations with its testament to unity and ingenuity under fire. The legacy of these silent sentinels endures, their code an everlasting echo of valor across the canyons of time. As their tale is recounted, it imparts timeless lessons of sacrifice and the sacred duty of remembrance, ensuring that the voices of the Navajo code talkers will never fade into the silence of history's page. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through history, give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to never miss out on our historical explorations. Farewell until next time.